Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou. welcome back to my channel. Recently, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope released a beautiful image of a star that it took as part of its alignment procedure. Also, aren't all those galaxies just so beautiful? But in this week's video, we're going to focus on that star. The star looks six-pointed, so why is this? In this video, we're going to talk about just that. Stars. As the song goes, the sun is a miasma of incandescent plasma, and all stars are just like our local star, the sun. Thanks to our space telescopes like Solar Orbiter, our ground-based backyard telescopes, or even our naked eyes, we know that the sun looks like this. Bright for sure, but most importantly, it's round. Yet when you ask anyone to draw a star, they typically give you something like this. This or even this. We think of stars as pointed like, even though we know very well that they're round. So what gives? If you look out on the night sky at any star, you will see that they are indeed pointy and not just a dot. They also twinkle. Notice that the stars close to the horizon are more twinkly than those that are directly overhead. The stars twinkle because of the movement of the air in the Earth's atmosphere. This dims and distorts the light, and since starlight of stars closer to the horizon will pass through more atmosphere, they appear more twinkly. The pointy shape, on the other hand, is due to imperfections in the human eye, and it's these imperfections that result in a diffraction pattern that we see a pointy star. In fact, the very same effect is seen on telescopes like what we see in this image taken by JWST. The points on these stars are referred to as diffraction spikes. These lines radiating from bright light sources are named so due to the effects of diffraction of light. When light meets an obstacle, the light waves will diffract or bend around it. In the human eye, diffraction spikes are caused by the starlight diffracting around our eyelashes, our eyelids, and even our suture lines, which are fibers in the lenses of our eyes. This means that everyone will see a particular star slightly differently. In the case of telescopes, reflecting telescopes have both a primary and a secondary mirror. The light hits the primary mirror and reflects onto the secondary mirror before hitting the detector or camera. The secondary mirror is held up by support veins, and it doesn't matter how thin these support veins are made, they will still diffract the incoming light from a star, and this will appear as diffraction spikes. Now, like I said, for the human eye, every person sees a different diffraction pattern. And this is also true for telescopes. The pattern that we will see will be dependent on the telescope. Here we see a comparison of diffraction spikes for various arrangements of supporting veins on a reflecting telescope. The inner circle is the secondary mirror, the outer circle is the primary mirror, and the lines are those supports. Look at all the pretty patterns a star would appear like. For JWST, the main cause of the diffraction pattern is due to the segmentation design of the mirrors. James Webb is segmented. Its main mirror collects photons from any given star, but then this is cut up into 18 smaller hexagonal mirrors. The segmentation creates gaps in the main mirror. If you look at the primary mirror, you see that the gaps are oriented along three different directions. So if we take a simple example, a simple circular mirror, and then segment along the first orientation, we would expect to see a star with a diffraction spike like this. Now, a gap in the secondary orientation would give us a star that appears with diffraction spikes a bit like this. And lastly, with the third orientation of the gap, we would get a diffraction pattern like this. JWST, with all its so many gaps on its primary mirror, actually, on close inspection, will give us a diffraction pattern like this. 
But wait, that's not it. Earlier I said that in reflector telescopes, the struts of a secondary mirror are usually what cause the diffraction pattern. And for JWST, the secondary mirror is held up by three struts. These block a part of the primary mirror. Adding the support rods into the mix, a star will give a diffraction pattern that looks like this. So comparing back to that original JWST image, you can see that bright stars look like stars because JWST isn't perfect. It's all diffraction. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.